so this is exciting. It's our first um, makeup tutorial. Um, Lisa, virtually online, how to do Ziggy Stardust or David Bowie's Stardust, Ziggy Stardust look. Let's see the picture, Lisa. It's my man. It's your man. Amazing, beautiful. He's such a beautiful son. So I kind of try to do my hair as much as I could, like him. Um, I love don't have much hair, and I uh, have given away my mullet wig. So this is what we got. And I'm going to put mine on at the very end. At the very end. So the idea with any time you're going to impersonate someone, it's not going to be a true impersonation usually. And you always take parts that you want to incorporate the little bits of yourself. And that's how I see when I take on a personality sort of thing. Um, so the materials you're going to need, which um, there's really the only materials you need, is if you want to go a little bit lighter using a um, lighter foundation. So I'm going to be using um, a MAC foundation here that's a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. Uh, and then a red and a blue make the lightning bolt. Amazing. Did you get the other stuff that I put in the thing? Yeah. Okay. Right there. So what you have there is like a watercolor. Okay. And then I noticed that you had uh, eyeshadows and stuff that was blue. Yep. Okay. So usually when we do the cream, that's amazing. When we do a cream or a water based thing, sometimes we like to have the powder on top of it just to see it. But you don't need it. It's just like a fun little thing. Then he's very pink, so you're gonna need like a pink blush or an eyeshadow. You have one there on that color wheel. You had a bubble or rubble, Revlon. Yeah, so that's one. one. That's gonna yeah. be his eyes. Okay. And then you're gonna need a black pencil. So oh, yeah. a black pencil crayon for you. And you're gonna need where's my mascara? Uh, any mascara. Okay. <laughs> and then brushes that you need. Uh oh. Sure. Making sure you have water, you know, so, because I'm going to be using water on my face, watercolors. Um, any sponge, if you want to use sponge, whatever, however you put your foundation on, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, and, and, uh, and then you need brushes. So, to make the lightning bowl. I like to use like paint brushes. You can use any paint brush. Okay. As long as I just watercolor. That's perfect. Okay. That's just just one. You can use you. You have two. Use two if you okay. have one. Just make sure you wash it. And okay. What we do is we do the red stripe first. Yeah. And then um, then we do the blue, so then it doesn't get muddy. I'm gonna let you talk for a minute. I'm gonna grab some water for the paint brush. Okay, great. So then what else you're going to really want to know is how you're going to take your photograph. So you want to know the look. So his goes this way down your face. So when you were looking, if you were looking at me in real life, I would have to look in the mirror and do it the opposite way. So then you look at me, it would give you that zig ziggy stardust on that right hand side. Or left. If you're going to be doing selfies, then do the selfie, do it the way that you would in the mirror. Because then when you take the photograph, it's going to be on the right side. But we can test that too. So the best thing about doing anything is predominantly on one side of the face. Uh, you want to do a test before you go full hog. This is from experience. I did um, Banksy's interpretation of Ziggy Stardust with the Queen. Uh, and in the bathroom, it looked amazing. And then out in the real world, it was on the opposite side. So just keep that in mind before we get Okay. Um, we're going to prep our face. Lisa's, have you already done your foundation? No. Okay. So what I do is I usually prep my face so that it has a little bit more moisture. I'm very red and also very dry. The worst uh, thing makeup artists hate is dry skin. Well, that's me. I love people who have oily skin because it's way better. It holds, um, you can get a smoother foundation. It just doesn't hold as much as dry skin. So you do your own, um, 
you your own facial routine. So I do that and then add moisturizer as much as I humanly possibly can. And however you want to. It's just giving you the base. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some. Now, if you have primer, this would be the perfect time. I always let my moisturizer kind of sink in. My face is pretty red. So I first need to get rid of the redness that is on my face. So the thing is, because I'm doing such a theatrical makeup, this the foundation can be really thick. You don't have to worry about it looking natural. Uh, what you want it to look is that look. So I'm just gonna pull my hair up right now. Okay, great. So then I just wop it on. So once you've done your foundation and you put your moisturizer on, I mean, um, then you take whatever foundation. So I'm gonna pick a foundation that's super light for me. Now the only thing I don't like about this Ziggy Stardust thing is how pink he is. So I usually leave the pinkness out. Okay. Um, Cause I'm already red and I hate the red, so. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Leave the pink out. <laughs> so then just put a, a, like a big wallop of foundation or however you put your foundation on. I usually put it on with a sponge. That means I can push it right into my skin. You're going to notice right away. I wonder if I can get that light. This way. There. So, you know, you just push it into the skin. And this way you're just giving yourself a face. Oh, shit. Look at right. mine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be just, just like him. You're going to just be like him. So pushing that in, giving yourself. You don't have to. It's great, Lisa. That's perfect. And you are theatrical. It's not going to be something that you're going to want to go outside in. Well, yeah, exactly. And, why not? And why not? <laughs> oh, I love the park. <laughs> yeah. You'll definitely get social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the grocery store. Go to the grocery store, excuse me. Um, you can push it into your eyebrows. His eyebrows are pretty light if you want to have okay. a look. Um, I'll probably accentuate my eyebrows because I'm just going to make that as my interpretation. But you want to put it everywhere. This is now your canvas to work on. On the eyelids, everything? Eyelids, everything. Yeah. Push it in. Yeah, so I love it. Pretty, huh? Looks yeah. good. That's perfect. You're just like pushing it into your skin, getting rid of all the redness. And you're basically wanting to make a canvas with your face. So you're just, you're the white canvas. So we just have to push in before we add on. Perfect. I'm going to do a little bit of my neck because he's got no shirt on. He has no shirt on, yeah. So I'm going to just go down a bit. You can bring it down your neck. Yeah. Yeah, because yours is a bit very white. Now you can go as theatrical as you want, like, so it's a little bit more white. Okay. But um, you can also make it fantasy. So, like, this is what you do before do your makeup and let's say you don't have these colors and you only have um green and, and pink or something so make your like your light and gold those colors it doesn't have to be a hundred percent just for fun okay great so once we have our foundation in we have a look again hold on mind my pajamas <laughs> 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 uh, my, my pajamas. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna get my picture back up. Okay, so then you can do two, one of two things here. And what we're gonna do is probably do the lightning bolt first before we add all the contours. Okay. So he's got like crazy facial structure that we can mimic with like highlight and contour with um, blush because he's used a lot of pink tones here which is super fun okay 
So this is the key. This is how we're going to start. So I am looking at him like this, but I'm watching him like this. And if I take a selfie, this is where the test is. So okay. let's just do a test. So we get, um, we get our red. Okay. We get our water. We get our brush that we want to use. I'm just going to get some red here on my brush. And I'm going to look, and his thing starts here, and I make a line. Okay? Just a simple line from this one. Don't start yet, Lisa. Okay. So when you're doing this, I've started my line. I'm looking at David Bowie the way I'm looking at him in the picture. Yeah. And then I go into my camera, and I go to selfie. Okay. Take a picture. And I make sure that this is the way that I want to present it on social media or your friends or blah, blah, blah. Okay. If you are getting someone to take your photo, it's going to be on the opposite side. It's really difficult to um, do. So if you're going to be taking it, someone else is going to be taking it for you. Draw it out on a piece of paper first and look at the piece of paper while you're putting it on your face. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So I look at mine and it's going in the right direction. It's going to be done. It's going to be on the same side of the face as uh, David Boy. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to, this is like the fun part. So you mess up, you can always take it off. So I haven't powdered my face. That's key. Um, it means that it has a little bit more available for movement. So you want to start at the, the um, hairline. Okay. Just drag it down to about wherever the end or the middle of your eyebrow is. I'd say the beginning of your eyebrow. So now you're, are you on the wrong side? Oh God. <laughs> Did you take a selfie? Well, if I take a selfie. Are you looking in the camera? I'm looking, yeah. Okay. Perfect, because I'm looking at you, so it's going to be the opposite way. Okay, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, mine is going down over towards my left eye. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. and that's what David... Okay. Okay, so then you just take that line again, and then you make it a little bit deeper, more exaggerated. So now I've got my first line. Awesome. Okay, so then it goes on my eye. So I'm going to leave the eye part for last, but I need to figure out where it goes back up. So right. it goes down into my eye, and then it ends here. So his, I'm going to draw the other side first. So starting again from your hairline, go this time go to the middle of your eyebrow. Yep. Or the arch of your eyebrow. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Then you're going to go from the corner of your eye to the tip of your other eyebrow. Right. Like that. Okay, then you're going to come from the tip of your eyebrow, so you're coming from this other connection, and you're gonna go all the way down to your cheek. So you're gonna go okay. from here, all the way down to the base of your cheek. Awesome, yeah. Great. And we can fix it like it doesn't, it's never, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're just making the lines of basically where everything's going to go. Okay. And then basically right underneath your eye, I don't know if it'll be easier to draw it. I would draw a dot. Let's just draw a dot like just right here. How far down? Oh, there. There. 
And then you're going to connect this line to that dot. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So then the second line, again, we're going to have that little lightning bolt part. So then it comes down. We're halfway down your cheekbone. You know, and then these lines are going to match up. So I would just go from the bottom of my lid down to this. Perfect. Amazing. So then we have basically the outline of the um, red lightning bolt. So what we do is we go whole hog and we fill in this whole red part. Can I fill it in with a sponge or is it better with a paintbrush? Oh, you can fill it however you want. Okay. You want to use the sponge? Use the sponge. I just don't have an extra sponge. I just have my foundation one on me. Yeah, perfect. What you're doing is like, we're just filling in this whole part. And then I'm going to go into my middle of my face. It's so weird to know what you're doing. So I did this one year as a Halloween costume. Yeah. So it would be interesting to look back to see. Oh, that'd be awesome. The difference of the, of the, because uh, you know what? Maybe I did it backwards. Well, if you did it in the mirror, you did it um, this way. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yours looks so good. That's how I fucked up too. <laughs> <laughs> This thing about interpretation, like Banksy's interpretation of this was really fun. I love his. Yeah. So then I dressed up in the fur coat and all. I'll send a picture of that to you too. We can send yeah, yeah. pictures of our Halloween costumes. Right. Fun. And then leave your eye um, until. Yep. 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 What did you do in COVID? You know, like painting my face. Yeah, we we painted our face. Face painting. Worst things in life, right? Night in the afternoon with great friend painting our face. Right. So now I'm just going to do my eyebrow. Let me just see what has this all out here. And always come back to your reference. Um, he put a little, he's got more paint on his eyebrow, like his inside. So just leaving the top of the eyelid there for a moment. Leaving the top of, say it again. So don't do your eyelid. Oh, okay. Because I think it's more pink. Brush it in a little bit. Also going to add this connection. Looking good. Good. Okay. Awesome, Lisa. Oh, well, what? Yeah. I gotta erase that part. Erase that part. But that's good. Okay. That's the nice thing about makeup. You can erase it. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not like we're getting a face tattoo. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I'd like a uh, Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> <laughs> I would maybe. I know you would, but <laughs> oh. sorry, kitties. Uh, if watching this, uh, like <laughs> this so, bombs in the world. I think I'll just erase that one little part. Yeah. It's so weird doing it in front of the iPad. Here we go. Strange. That looks great. That looks okay. awesome. Perfect. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go in with um, that pink. Okay. Uh, you can wash that brush that we, um, we have. Just get all the red out of it. Color as um, a stain the most. Okay. okay. So if you have um, um, a makeup brush, like an eyeshadow brush, do you I just have, I just said, oh, 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 you use something like fish was Lucky that didn't land on you. Homeschooling. <laughs> my, my friend sent me a message. She's like, breaking news. Kids are overrated. I was like, oh. <laughs> For all those parents watching right now, I feel your pain. <laughs> okay. So getting the pink, you can use your fingers, Lisa. Because okay. um, basically we're doing like a whole, the whole eyelid. What about just like a, like an eye, uh, a makeup brush like this? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, just give me one quick set. So what we're going to work on next is a pink eyeshadow. If you don't, no worries. Use another color. Um, if you've already started doing this, I'll in a different color. He's just really pink. We're just pushing in pink into his eyes. So I'll start a little bit. Um, okay. So we're getting the pink. We're getting the pink. And we're more, more like purplish, but. That's fine. Um, and we're putting it all over the eyelid, all the way up to um, the eyebrow. On both eyes? Um, we're going to start with the blank eye at the moment. Okay. So this is like, you're going to exaggerate this because, you know, when you're doing eyeshadow, you don't necessarily want to go all over the brow bone. But he has this all the way into the brow bone and all the way into his eyebrow. So you can go over the top here. Camera. So yeah, so you take that all over your eyelid, all the way up to your eyebrow, and you can come into the crust or the crack of the nose and the eyelid. Perfect. I love it. And when you're done the eye uh, lid, you can go underneath your eye, bringing that color underneath that bit. Okay. Yeah, perfect. 
So he's a little bit more outside of the crease. Perfect. So then when you're done that side, um, let's go into this other side. So you bring it onto your eyelid, all the way up to that red, pushing in the color. How many years did you do makeup artistry for? Um, I did makeup for over 10 years. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a lot of it wasn't paid. <laughs> yeah, there was I know. Um, I love to They're having a tough time oh, You can only imagine in COVID, like, makeup artists read all of it. And yeah. you're your nose and your mouth and your bum like all of it well that's the thing too like you see a lot of the stars that are doing like at home whatever uh videos and they look completely different because oh, they don't have their makeup artist yeah, and on their makeup the hair fucking nails yeah. nice the people like need to start doing learning stuff themselves but yeah. It's a profession like anything. Like when me and Joan started the yoga videos, like it's a job. Someone spent a long time learning how to do that, right? Totally. Um, it's, it's sad. It's like, but this is like an art. Right? So we can take this and do as much art as you want on your face. It is like, it is an art, that's for sure. Oh, well, looks great. That looks great. Perfect. All right. So what we could do is um, we can finish the lighting. This should be dry. Watercolor. I think yours is watercolor too. Um, so it's mine's dry-ish. So should be perfect. Okay. Okay. Right? So now we're going to do that electric blue. I don't have. It doesn't matter to the blue you have. Um, I have this blue. So that's okay. Perfect. Color. I'm just gonna put in here. Okay. So once you get the blue, you're gonna yep. just place right beside it. Now, the line doesn't have to be crazy straight because in between the blue and the red, you're going to be a black line. Oh, right. Okay. So you can, you know, get as close as you want and know that you can fix it up with. And I've added my lines to eight. His doesn't, but I like it meeting. Um, you trace not underneath, just the side. There was an article about this um, look. I'm not send yeah. it. I didn't read it all. <laughs> I've limited just re recently? Yeah, just recently. Oh. I'm not the makeup artist and the like, significance of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see. I did see that article. Oop. 
Yeah, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It's funny because, like, there's the the character that came after this. Yeah. That they talked about that a lot of people think is Ziggy, and it's not Ziggy. It's another character. Right. But it's kind of similar. It's like him coming out of this character into another one. He was amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to send you. It was his dog's birthday the other day, and his dog's name's Max. And it's this little fluff ball dog, and it's got two different colored eyes. What? It's the cutest thing ever. You're going to die when you see it. Oh my God. That's so funny. Okay. So then, yeah. Perfect. I don't know if I like. No. Oop. No, I might just beat mine. Because mine has not got that much distance between the two of them. I'm sorry, I've just changed mine already. That's, I like that. <laughs> so yours is perfect because you've got enough distance between the two. Okay. So then uh, keep bringing that blue as close as you can to the red. Go oh, up top. Yeah. Keeps getting bigger and bigger on the <laughs> Whoops. That's oh. all right. It's whatever you want it to be. Well, like, I've already changed mine just a little bit. So I've got this coming in. How's oh, that look? It looks beautiful. Great. So then we can take our black pencil, or whatever you have, if you have more black. Um, watercolor then you can use that otherwise I've got a black pencil and I'm just going to run a line between the two should I let this dry for a bit or does it matter it should dry it pretty good. there we go so now I'm just drawing in that my blue is a little bit more purple. It's like pink. Just found. Add that. Cool. Hey, that looks great. Everything else is pretty um, plain. The red doesn't get any border on it. Okay. Okay. So once we're done that, then we can work on our um, count contouring ball too. So he is super light on his cheekbones. His cheekbones are so if you have a powder, um, use it. Otherwise, you can work around white that you have. So I, I'm 
going to use um, a little bit of powder here. I have a lighter powder. I'm just going to go into my cheek. Okay, I'm going to go grab. Oh, you don't have to go, Lisa, because I'm just going to add it so it's a little bit more white. You can just okay. think around it. Okay. But if you do have a powder that you want to get, um, go grab it. So Lisa's super bright already, and maybe you're bright already too, like you've got a I'm just going to put it just a tad on the bones. And then on And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to pump in that pink into our bones. So I'm going to take my pink. So Lisa, just take yep. your pink right now. So that take the what? You have a like a blush brush. Um, no, but I have those sponge. I either have a sponge or one of these. No, use a sponge. Okay. Um, a, little bit um, a little bit heavier. So I'm going to use a sponge like you then. So like you've got a sponge there. You're just going to dig into your pink. And you're going to go underneath. You're going to make yourself um, like a fish. Okay. And putting it underneath. See there where the line between? Yeah. You're gonna have to blend that out um, mm -hmm. a lot. So that's perfect. And it's also coming all the way down. How's that? That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Gives you that like illusion, like where you're just like. Yeah, that's neat. And because you're so white on the top, the highlighter, you can just work with that thing. Okay. So just adding a little wherever you need. Okay. So that's perfect. So I see that, did you add yours? He has, on mine, he's got a little bit on his... The yeah, you can add a little bit here. There's a little bit here. Um, and you're going a little pink. You can do it like a also around because he's, he's basically made himself a mask because he's not wearing a shirt so if you look at me like this and I was white all the way down here you look like he was a mask. but you don't need to add any of those things it's just going to be like a soft thing if you wanted to be completely accurate just pulling them down and then his cheeks this is awesome yeah that looks great yeah and then a little under his his chin, kind of making um, yeah. Okay, and a little under his chin, you said. Yeah, it's a little. I'm just not a little bit my eyes. Like just up right here. Like just uh, yeah, because I have a brush, just slightly, just a little bit of a rim. And then blended it down. So you've got kind of like a mask sort of idea. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. And did you say you had a black eyeliner? Yeah, that's what I just used on the. Perfect. Yeah. So taking your back eyeliner again, we're just gonna like not rim our tarsal plate. So our tarsal plate is that like white tea like pink thing. So just underneath, so an eyeliner, and then it's gonna come into the middle of your eye. So he's done it so that whoever the makeup person did it, she did it all the way into the of her eye. To the middle of the eye, okay. The middle of the eye, so she's not going all the way inside, on either side. So we're gonna do it on this side too. This is really weird just doing it on a computer. I don't know. Um. Yeah, see, his eyes are closed on my album cover. Okay. It's just so like this is good. Okay, okay, perfect. 
And then the same on above. He just has a little bit of darkness. Just at the corners. Now making sure that this allows me to smudge it out. Always coming back to look at your work too. So that okay. you know, we're getting sometimes when we're working, we start focusing on just a little bit and then we don't take it in as a whole, right? So yours as a whole looks amazing. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. So any let's just fill in any red bits that need to be filled in. You can fill that in with or with your red um, coloring. What about the inside of the eye, Claire? Can I see your, like, see how mine's really? No, nope. so I have his on the inside of his eye. Yours is done perfectly. Oh, you have to keep it open white like that? Yeah. So when you leave your, the tarsal plate, that part open, your eyes just look bigger. So he wanted that illusion. Mm, okay. And then that pink was all, sorry, he, is that what you're talking about? Here with the red, yeah, yeah, Move it down to the eye, move it right into the eye. Okay, yeah. so fill in that whole space. You're, you can use the pink or you can use the red. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, so then I'm just gonna put mascara on. Okay. So whatever way that you like to put on it. Yeah. And his is like on the bottom and the top. This is weird putting it on. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really see. <laughs> I always I remember them saying someone's always saying you can never put mascara on with your mouth closed. Oh really? That's yeah. true. Every You can. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. And then I think so. I usually he's got like a nudish kind of color on his lips. Okay. So what I do is I just add a little bit more of my foundation. Yours is really light, so it is up to you how you. I almost. Brown he color. almost has like the same like. Oh, you know what? Now I've got um. A lip liner that's kind of the same color. 
like a brownish color, orangey, nudie. But you just have a touch of purple. Yeah, perfect. whatever look you want to do. And then you're done, basically. All right. I'm gonna do my little computer thing. Get my oh. I'm gonna make this little poof on thing. Push down the little bags. Nice. Black homing hopping in. Sides are pretty tight. When did you do your hair like that? Huh? When did right. you do your hair like that? That's awesome. Jessica did it, yeah. You know, it only took three hours. Oh, and then it became the symbol of COVID, which I thought was kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There's the irony of life. Your hair on the screen is really weird. Oh, I need a brush, I think. Oh no. No. That was awesome. And then just figuring out what your look is. Mine has nice. Nice. That looks wicked. Yay! Yay! Awesome, I love it. I love it. That was so Thank much fun. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. That's amazing. I learned a lot, actually. Yeah, great. Even well, just like, I, I was always fascinated with, with contouring. I never really knew how to do it. Well, we could do another one on contouring. It's, um, all it is is where the light hits you. It's all contouring is really good. So if, the, if I flash a light in my face, this is what any bony bits. The best thing is actually to close your eyes and feel your face. So anytime you feel a bone, that's basically where highlights are going to go, like your brow bone. Um, and then you can get a little bit more in depth, but that's basically the idea is like anything that's high, you want to accentuate and anything that's in, you want to like. Cool. Yeah. That'd be fun sometime. Yeah. Look at us. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to post this. It's going to be really fun. Well, I'm going to, uh, if you post it, I'm going to do a little photo shoot and, uh, We'll do we can photo. post some photos, and uh, and I'll send you uh, the photo of little doggy Max with the uh, the two eyes. With Clementine? Oh. Oh, David Bowie's David Bowie's dog. Yeah. Okay. So cute. So cute. Well, this was super fun. Well, thank you. If anybody wants to do anything else, or if you want to do another look from someone else, let me know. This is well, maybe we should uh, put it out there to any of our our viewers. Uh, Send us some some uh, suggestions, and we'll we'll do it again. Again, we can add more people into the zoo. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I love Bye. you.